All right, so we're continuing our journey towards better understanding the numerals and why they look the way that they do and how they've all been created by somebody using this as a template for their shapes. And each numeral is connected to its corresponding ring in this series of circles. So this is a series of circles where each ring is a consecutive square root radius. The first circle is a radius of the square root of one or just one. Second circle is a radius of the square root of two. Third circle, square root of three, and so on. So now we're getting past the ninth circle. I've shown you all of those uh, numerals. Now we're going to get into the two numerals that are completely distinctive to base 12. So I've explained how somebody was using base 12 geometry to create this, or all the numerals, and create this design itself is based on a base 12 grid. So now we're going to look at the tenth numeral, which in base 12 is called DEC, D-E-C, which kind of relates to the word decade or decimal. So that's, that's the, uh, where that comes from. It's so DEC. It has the shape of an X, uh, a big X, but one side has little wings on one of the, one of the angles. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second. I just want to say that this particular numeral, we're going to have to go a little bit into some base 12 math to explain the logic that they used. Uh, again, reiterating that each numeral contains the value of the number that it represents. So I'm just going to show you where that numeral fits on this pattern. So, so far we go to the tenth circle in the series. So it's a series with the square root radius of, we would normally say 10, but I'm going to say, I'm going to sort of go back and forth between 10 and, and deck. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're at the ninth um, ring. So we go over 1 and we're going to hit the tenth ring. So this ring is actually also has 10 lattice or 8 lattice points that it, that, um, correspond to its shape and if we were drawing it we would put our compass down put at one of those lattice points and those lattice points are on either side of the nine so there's two here two here two here two here so like the, the five had eight points because after the four kind of split up and then there's eight so but what but this is the first numeral where we don't actually use those lattice points they chose to um, use a different shape because again they're trying to incorporate the value of the number the, the value of ten so what they chose to do is use that, um, the fact that they, they chose an X and then the distance between the points of the X from the top to the bottom is the length of five. So five and five, they sort of split up the 10 into two fives. So what I'm gonna show you now, what they chose to do is they use the geometry of the three, four, five triangle. So that's a triangle you might be familiar with. I'm gonna show you some stuff here on the board now that I've got written. Actually, I put a whiteboard behind it just so you can see. And we're gonna go over the geometry of the three, four, five triangle first so you understand how that all works. Okay, so here I've written at the bottom, so A and, and this symbol for deck, that's, that's what it looks like. Got it up here also, X, same thing, this deck in A equals 10, so in 10 in base 10. Okay, so that's the value, two times five equals deck in base 12. Okay, so this is the three, four, five triangle. So what we want to do is get a height of five. So we want to, so one side. This is, what, this is how this symbol fits um, in relation to. Here's the here's the three, four, five triangle, and here's the symbol for for deck. It's got that. This is one side of the X, and this is the other side. So you can see the two sides aren't exactly equal. This um, this side here is a little bit tilted back, so it's not perfectly balanced within itself, you go over, down, over, and these lengths here end up being the length of 0.5. So we have the decimal value, and I'm gonna show you how it all fits in a minute. So, so the four, this is the side that we wanna make five. So in order to make that side the length of five, we multiply four by 1.3, and we get five. Again, this is all base 12 math. Three times 1.3 is 3.9, so that's the length of the bottom of this triangle here. And this length here is going to be the length of 6.9. Okay, so that's all again base 12. We're multiplying all the sides of the 3, 4, 5 triangle by the length of 1.3. Okay, so then here, here what I've done is I've just written 3.9 divided by 2 equals 1.86. So if you think about it, this is going to be the, uh, the y axis going through the center of the, the numeral like that, and the x axis is going to be going through here like this. So this distance here is going to be 2.6. So this point here is going to be the height of 2.6. 
and then it's uh, that's not just y, then it's x coordinate, it's going to be 1.86. So that's, um, you know, the, the bottom, 3.9 divided by 2. So going over here, this point here and this point here are going to be like plus and minus 1.86. Okay, this is going to be, you know, plus and minus 2.6. Okay, so I'm going to rub this out and show you what that looks like on the board in relation to that series of circles. So I flipped the board around because the other line that they use, I didn't mention that, but the other line that they use is the line for this dodecagon, which is the slope, that, which has a slope of going over one and up 0.7, over one and up 0.7. So they, they use that one because that has, that is where you get the 0.5 in relation. Okay, so again, we're going to go to the, the tenth circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're, going to, we're going to run it down to this point right here. So at that point there is just outside of this line here. We're using this the slope of this line going up one, two and a half, two point six, until it hits that point there, then over point one, point two, point three, point four, point five. So you can see it's just touching, or it's just back from the tenth ring of this diagram. So we're going to go to the same thing going down here. One two and a half, then over one, two, three, four, point five, right to there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yep, that's right, okay, and then here, we're going up, just directly above that one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, right to there, and then again going down, there we go, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, Six to there. I think I've got it right. Yes, point. And that just stays there. Then we're gonna draw, I'm just going to draw it freehand like that. Okay, so that's basically what the what the numeral looks like. And I um, maybe I'll give you the coordinates. Well, I give you the coordinates already. It's you know like I say, two point six, two point six, one point eight six, and these are the length of 0.5. So I think I'll just leave it like that. This is what that numeral looks like. There you go, that's why the numeral for deck looks the way that it does. You've got these little wings there, 0.5, uh, and then the, the height of 5 and 5, and 2 times 5 is deck. All right, thanks for watching.